Hey, what's up, guys? It is May 14th, 2013, and uh, I'm going to give you a little tour of my hydroponics and an update to see what's uh, going on. Um, okay, let's start with the cucumber. As you see, the yellowing is uh, getting more there, and uh, we're almost there. I've been uh, giving the air garden uh, plain water for about three days, and yesterday I did a service of my hydroponics. And uh, if you notice uh, the signs on the leaves here, telling me pretty much that uh, they're getting hungry and that I haven't been giving them enough food so but uh, I mean it's pretty amazing how fast the plant will just talk to you by signs you know um, you see this guy here that's pretty much a deficiency what do you see here um, that's the first sign you're going to notice a uh, yellowing if you're not feeding it enough um, it's what you're looking for. Anyways, uh, we do have uh, several cucumbers uh, growing. Uh, I did upload a video that I had uh, for uh, some time now. I just didn't find the time to upload it. Uh, there's more cucumbers right down here. There is the other one I showed you the last, on the last video, if you pay attention. It's this one right here. Um, and it's taken off. And uh, finally, we're getting some new growth. Uh, it's right here. And uh, I did notice a little cluster and some more cucumbers coming in here finally. So I guess the plant is doing okay. I thought it was just going to go down the drain. But uh, what do I know? Anyways, let's see. Uh, the root is, uh, here's the thing with the root. Because the uh, nutrient would uh, dry up and uh, all the kind of like uh, the liquid, you know, nutrient that was in it, it would just stay on the reservoir. Uh, it would just stay in the, it would stay in their roots. So therefore, I guess it would turn my roots colored. But uh, the three days I used just water, what happened, I believe it just washed off the um, the nutrient of the roots so uh, although we did get a little deficiency as you see on the light on the leaves uh, it doesn't matter though because uh, we washed off the roots with the water plain water for three days and now we're back on uh, feeding schedule uh, we're I'm feeding it 980 parts per million right now almost a thousand um, just to see how it reacts the the leaves doing okay, I guess. They're just the same as from before, but I did notice like the new growth and several new cucumbers coming in, which means you know the plant is still in production. Uh, as you see, there new cucumbers have grown and uh, they're doing good. Um, I saw one the last video. I saw that this one looked like it was yellow, but in reality it wasn't. It's just uh, I guess. The camera was wasn't getting the color correctly. Anyways, that's for the cucumber. Uh, the letters, as you see, have blown up again. It's been today is five days since the last harvest, I believe, four or five days. I can't remember. Uh, it's either one or the other. But they're ready to be harvested again, so I can get some more fresh salads. Uh, the flower is a very slow growth. I don't know what's going on. It's a uh, incarnation. So. But uh, yesterday, like I said, I did a little, uh, I did a little servicing on them, maintenance. So, tomato, oh goodness, tomato, uh, it's looking really nice. Uh, we got some uh, good sized tomatoes on them, as you see. They're not too big, I mean, you know, compared to my hand. They are <laughs> pretty small still. We got some more back here. There's more flowers here. There's one tomato coming in right over here. Uh, and what I did is uh, I stopped the growth going this way and I just let it continue that way. And uh, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do because if you see this wall right here, it's about six and a half, seven feet tall or something. And I'm not sure how I'm gonna continue this tomato plant. Perhaps I'm gonna pinch it to where it stops growing and see if it can produce any more tomatoes just without growing, you know, any more body. Now the 
Watermelon. <laughs> watermelon. My goodness. We got two watermelons already. Uh, let me see if the uh, watermelon has opened the flower yet. Oh, there it is. This is a hydroponic watermelon, guys. It's my first watermelon growing a hydroponics. And it's doing fantastic. We have this guy. And we have this guy here. Uh, the problem is I don't see any male flowers to pollinate it with. And I'm kind of worried. Because I ain't got no male flowers yet. And this is so weird. I don't have any male flowers yet. I have female flowers. This is a new one. Usually you get a bunch of males before you get a female flower. But that's okay because uh, we'll see if I can pollinate it with a cantaloupe. Not to mention that we have a male flower from the soil. So what I'll be doing is pollinating the cucumber from the male flower I got on the soil. But it's kind of like, you know, exciting to see that. Okay, let me step back, take a look at it. It's, it's like amazing. It's just from here and working down under the box. And there it is. <laughs> and that's something. But to my surprise, there's no male flowers that are open yet. Chat, Julie. Smile. You're famous on YouTube. <laughs> Anyways. Uh... So yeah, that's that's that. I've been uh, upping the dose on them. As you see, the yellowing is not there anymore. Um, it's darkening up. It's just where I want it. I'm feeding these guys about 950, 980 right now. Here, let's take a look. It's here. Uh, it's about eight o'clock, nine o'clock in the morning over here, and uh, the weather is really nice at this time. Now you see the roots are looking good. Aeration is not as, <laughs> it's not penetrating as much as I'd like to because of all these root mass in there. So, look at that. That tomato is just pulling things left and right. It's a huge, huge mass on the root. Anyways, here, let me close that real quick. So, as you see there, they're doing pretty good. So... Okay, now, <clears throat> the ones in the soil, we got uh, a cantaloupe pollinated. I did pollinate it the other day, and as you see, it's finally grown up. It's the first one. Okay, let me put it on the plastic so it doesn't touch the soil. There we go. And there should be one more. Uh, I'm not sure where it was, but I was looking forward to find it. Um, when it was opening, so I can pollinate that one too. I just don't remember where it was. I'm probably going to check it out in a little bit. Now, let's see. Here's the cucumber clone. Uh, if you remember, I did cut the little cucumbers out of it because it was growing too many cucumbers and it wasn't growing uh, in size. But uh, it has about doubled in size, I think. And, uh, yeah, it's growing. Here's the... European, Armenian, or something cucumber. I have pollinated that guy. Uh, I did harvest the one that was here. There was no seeds in it. Let's hope now the yellowing that I'm getting on the cucumbers stops. Um, here's this little guy. There's several more, but they're just like this guy right here. I don't know if you can see it. See that? Just, just there waste just turned yellow i think the soil can only provide so much for a cucumber because of the availability on the nutrient you know so i think uh there's a limitation to that um now this guy has almost reached the top as you see i'm probably gonna twist it around a little bit i need both hands to do that a couple of you know, cucumbers right here that need to be pollinated. There's one right here. And hey, check it out. This guy has finally reached the end of a box. This is the other watermelon that's on the soil. What I'm going to do is I'm going to twist it around and put it this way. Anyways, I need both my hands to do that so I don't break anything. Potatoes. Here's our potatoes. Finally, took a while. Here's the watermelons. 
I mean, yeah, watermelons. They're taking off too. Uh, this thing's gonna get crowded, I think, but that's okay. We can always cut some to thin them out. And that's my update, guys, with my hydroponics and uh, my grow box. Uh, yeah, let's take a look at my uh, soil real quick. This thing has, uh, I think it's produced, all it can produce now. I don't know what's going on. Uh, I haven't seen any, I mean, you know, there's some new growth coming in, I guess. So, I was thinking of chopping them down and just start something new. It's still early in the year, so... Uh, I couldn't wait anymore, you guys. I had to cut them. There was a... There was uh, four tomatoes, five over here, that were like, you know, good size. Uh, we still have these guys, and there's several more. But uh, I caught them and fried them, and they were pretty tasty. I just couldn't wait anymore. I just, you know, I needed tomato for my rice, tomato for my sandwich, and they're just always green. I'm like, you know, I had enough. I'm going to eat you guys. And they're pretty tasty. So now let's see what's going on with the cherries over here. Can't even see them anymore. Sorry with the camera, guys. Just uh, uh here, there you are. I'm sure you can see them. All right, now we see cantaloupe. Here's the cantaloupe. It's growing slowly. Eggplants. I've been cutting the flowers off because uh, they were trying to flower, and I decided, you know, I don't want the flowers. Like you see these guys that are here, I don't want those because they're still too young. So I just cut those out, and uh, what I do is like that helps with it to where it doesn't it doesn't uh, stunt its growth, providing all the energy to the flower. Uh, and it actually helps the plant grow. So, and that's, I guess that's my trick. And then if you want to, you can always go and cut the bottom suckers out and that'll provide more energy for the top to grow and the main stem to thicken up so you can get a better healthy plant, uh, stronger plant for later harvests. Uh, I know, I know, I'm lazy now. I haven't cut the grass yet. <laughs> Anyways, so uh, the peppers are doing okay. I did cut a bunch of flowers out of these guys too so they can start growing more. Um, this one is doing okay. These ones, yeah, they're all doing good. There we got two of them. Two main stems out of one plant. So that's uh, I have done in my garden and my hydroponics. So I'm uh, Again, thanks for watching, and I'm going to get to harvesting part now. Thanks for watching.